In this video, we're gonna spend the day at Disney California Adventure as the Lunar New Year celebration starts. We're gonna have some yummy foods here at the marketplace. Uh, there's gonna be like East Asian inspired dishes as well as Southeast Asian. Um, and so we're excited to try all this food and bring you guys with us. previous Lunar New Year celebration as well as other festival marketplace um, events they have the sip and savor pass this is $45 for non magic key holders and $42 for magic key holders it gets you six tabs and you can get a bunch of food items um, and drinks not non-alcoholic drinks um, included so we got two of these we're gonna try a lot of food for you guys <laughs> so Kayla's cake is a little kiosk that they have here um, at Disney California Adventure during like the festival of holidays. They also have a kiosk at Downtown Disney and they actually have a storefront in Fullerton that you can visit, but they usually have like some sort of featured pastry and it's like usually like a macaron or like cupcakes. But for the Lunar New Year celebration, for the first time they brought egg tarts. So these are not included in your sip and savor passes. And it's technically like outside of the festival of um, the Lunar New Year festival um, because they're an outside vendor. But these look so yummy. So we got the original and then a yuzu, which comes with like a white chocolate ganache and then a matcha. They're all very like Asian flavors, so they should be really tasty. I'm gonna start off with the original. You can see like the nice caramelized like crust on top, which, you know, is so tasty. Like that brulee. Mmm. Oh. The pastry. I don't know how well you can see it. It's like nice and flaky. It has all, all those different layers. It's a little chilled because I think they keep it in the fridge, but it's really yummy. Mmm. Mmm. I'm going to try the other two flavors. Yuzu is a um, Asian citrus found a lot in like Japanese and Korean um, foods. And it is like... I don't know how to describe it exactly, but it's kind of like a floral citrus flavor. And then it has a white chocolate ganache, which the white chocolate usually complements it really well, so. Mmm. I got some on my nose. Oh my God. I think I like this one better than the original. You see the layers of the chocolate? It's very sweet, but like not too citrusy. Um, it's a perfect balance of those flavors. And then last but not least, the matcha. I love a good matcha, so. Mmm, okay. So if you think the egg tart has um, like the original egg tart custard in the bottom and then it's topped with the flavor on top. So the matcha is like on top of the regular custard flavor. It has a good amount of matcha like this and it's like perfectly balanced with the sweetness. I am a fan. They did a great job. I do have a storefront in Fullerton as I mentioned and I think I'd be totally down to go back there to get some of their other pastries. I don't think I've actually ever tried any of their pastries here but this is a good sign. All right, our next item, our first official Disney item is the almond cookie churro this is at the goofy uh, churro cart 
It's covered in a cookie crumble, some almond icing, and some slivered almonds. Um, it smells like those like cookies that you get at like either Chinese restaurants or bakeries. Mmm. Tastes like it too. You definitely, this is definitely like crumbled of that cookie. You don't get that like cinnamony taste because it's more of that almond flavor. Really tasty. I think I still prefer like the original churro, but it's still a really good homage to the almond cookie. Mmm. We got our food from the kiosk. So what we did was we ordered at one booth, paid for it all at once, well, gave sip and saver passes for all of them at once, and then we went to the pickup lines, and so we were able to get it like right away before the lines got long. First item we have is from the Bao Bun Prosperity, I think, and this is the Pizza Bao, and it's literally just like a pepperoni pizza bao. There's like cheese crusted on top and marinara sauce. Let's try this. I wish it was more pepperoni-y. It's very doughy. But marinara is good. It tastes like something that you would make in a microwave at home. <laughs> But, you know. Next, we have these wontons. These are pork and shrimp wontons, and they're served with a black garlic sauce, which I'll pour over. And this is from like the wrap with love, I think, or something there. And let's see how these taste. See like little green onion bits on it. They're definitely like meat filled with like meatballs that are made of like pork and shrimp. And um, it's tasty. You get a really nice um, shrimp flavor. You get the shrimp aroma. It's not too porky. The sauce is really good. You can taste like the black garlic. I wish I had like chili oil. From Red Dragon Spice Traders, this is the Red Spice Fried Chicken Bites. They're fried chicken chicharrones and they're covered in a red spice sauce. Mmm. Ooh, that's a kick. Ooh, that's good. The sauce, I feel like this definitely tastes kind of like sweet and spicy, kind of like gochujang, which is a Korean, um, like a Korean chili paste. You want to try? Mmm, mm, yeah. It's like, it almost tastes like drinking or finger food that you would get in like a Korean restaurant or like a pub. And then we got the gochujang elote. This is the steamed corn on the cob and it's rolled in a gochujang aioli, cotilla cheese, and then drizzled with more spicy gochujang sauce. Again, gochujang is like kind of a very sweet, spicy flavor uh, found in Korean cuisine. I also see like sesame seeds on here, which is like intriguing. It's definitely sweet because of the gochujang. But it's tasty. It complements the uh, cotilla cheese really well. Mm. You get like the salty funkiness from the cheese. It balances out the sweetness. Overall, I really like it. And then from Lucky 8, 
fortune we got the quesadilla egg roll which is uh, stuffed with Oaxaca cheese, birria and it's so served with a side of guajillo consom consomme. The thing is like the consomme looks very thick almost like a sauce so hmm. Now, so it's nice and crunchy. You can see it's just filled with beef. Very, very dense because it's mostly meat, mostly meat. I can barely taste the cheese. Like it's there, but it's very faint. So you get that slight like kiss a, kiss a taco taste, but it's mostly beef. Mm. It's really fun though. I. I think I'll get this one again. It's just really fun. It's like a really nice fusion take. And then from there, I also got this coffee drink. I have to read this one off because it's like a super long description. So it is a Joffrey's Coffee and Tea Company, French Bistro Blend with coconut milk, coconut cream, and white chocolate sauce. And it's garnished with lavender matcha coconut foam. And there's like the purple stuff on top is uh, purple sanding sugar and there's some sea salt in there to balance out some of that sweetness. It just looked super pretty so I knew I had to get it. And I, for the purposes of science, I'm going to use a straw. I'm going to stir in that foam. Get that sweetness distributed evenly. That's a really interesting drink. I like it a lot. If you like coconut milk with your coffee, I think you would really like it. I don't really get a lot of matcha, mostly coffee, definitely, but it's a really tasty coffee drink. It is a little bit sweet. The, sh the little dash of salt actually helps a lot. It's a pick me up. We actually did get one more drink. This is the um, peach yuja aid which we got last year um, for this video we decided to focus on only the new items but this is like the only repeat that we got from last year because it was our favorite drink there is an alcoholic version too but we'll also link the video from last year down below so you can see some of the items that they have this year that we reviewed last year okay out of the foods from the kiosk I think the most disappointing one is this the pepperoni pizza bao it just it's very dry inside and it's like very doughy there's it's it was a disappointment the other disappointment as i like the taste but the corner on the cobble is a disappointment i feel like for like eight bucks you need to get more than just a tiny part of a cob and then um my our favorites were probably the um the spicy uh, chicken and then the wontons which are all gone okay so we were still hungry and we had some tabs sip and savers tabs left so we came to paradise garden grill because you can order some items uh, are sip and saver eligible so you get like small smaller portions um, I picked a couple items that we haven't they haven't had before so this one they're both Korean inspired so this one is a uh, kimchi bokkeumbap, which means kimchi fried rice. It is plant-based, so I think there's eggs, but everything else, it's just like vegetables. These are fried tofu bits, and there's onions and things like that. So that's intriguing. And then this other one is a chicken bulgogi. They call it tak bulgogi. It's uh, some just like I think there's like a bulgogi type of sauce and chicken over rice and there's some vegetables and there's actually kimchi right here so let's try a bite and see how it tastes mm, okay it reminds me of teriyaki but it's not has a similar base but the sauce is very similar to teriyaki but it's not quite you could taste more of that um i don't know something korean about it <laughs> kimchi is not bad and then here's the fried rice i'm trying to get a bite with a little bit of everything
It's not like strong enough kimchi flavor, but I understand that it is like a theme park. It is very toned down. It still has like heat, but it's not quite as like sour kimchi taste like um, Koreans normally make it. So considering it's like a, a theme park version, it's not bad. I'm gonna try the crispy tofu too. It has like a sweet glaze on it, but it's fine. Both of these are just like, like theme park level Korean inspired foods. Another item not included in the Sip and Savor Fast Pass is this teriyaki turkey leg. It smells sweet and smoky and it's very sticky. <laughs> The sweetness of the teriyaki sauce definitely um, works well with the saltiness of the smoked um, turkey leg. It's definitely a commitment, but if you're spending like $15 for a turkey leg, you better commit. This is actually at the um, snack cart inside of the Paradise Garden Grill area. If you're a fan of turkey leg, I think you'd like this one too. Our very last item for today is from right next door at, uh, to Paradise Garden Grill, which is the Boardwalk Pizza and Pasta. They have this dessert, which is a milk tea cheesecake with um, taro and chocolate. It just sounded so good. Probably gonna be pretty decadent. Try to get the crust as well. Layer a little bit of everything. It is very, very sweet. Almost too sweet for me, personally. Yeah, too sweet for me. But if you if you're really into sweets, the milk tea um, cheesecake itself it has like a pretty good flavor. I think it's the crust and the topping that are extremely sweet for me. But um, the cheesecake filling itself is is actually pretty like good. So I may not have loved it, but Kyle did. <laughs> so this bomber jacket is super cute. It has like, because it is the year of the rabbit, they have all the different Disney rabbits on here, including like Thumper and Judy Hopps and like the white rabbit and even March Hare. And then here's rabbit from Winnie the Pooh. The only rabbit it's missing is Oswald, the lucky rabbit, who is actually kind of the mascot this year, so I'm surprised. But this is super cute. And it is 90 bucks. <laughs> That's it for today's Lunar New Year foodie adventure. They do have a bunch of activities. They have like a processional parade with like you know, dragon dancing, and um, they also have like character meet and greets, such as like Mulan and even Oswald because of the he's like the rabbit mascot this year. And so there's a lot of activities for um, you know you and your kids to do. Um, we hope that you come and enjoy these festivities while they last. It ends February 15th. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button for more videos like this, and we'll. See you in our next adventure!